Greetings, we'll cover a few details about, Maud of Wales and his life in a succinct manner. Here is a short rundown of his early years, education, Princess of Denmark, Queen of Norway, legacy, and demise. Queen of Norway under, King Haakon VII was Maud of Wales. She was the youngest child of British monarchs, King Edward VII and Queen Alexandra. Because her father was, the Prince of Wales at the time, she was referred to as Princess Maud of Wales, before to getting married. Also known as, Maud Charlotte Mary Victoria, famous as, Queen Consort of Norway. Born, November 26, 1869, Marlborough House, London, United Kingdom. Died, November 20, 1938, London, United Kingdom. Father, Edward VII of the United Kingdom. Mother, Alexandra of Denmark. Siblings, Princess Victoria of the United Kingdom, Prince Albert Victor, Duke of Clarence and Avondale, George V, Louise, Princess Royal, Alexander John. Spouse, Haakon VII of Norway. Children, Olaf V of Norway. At the Marlborough House residence in St. James's, Westminster, London, Maud was born on November 26, 1869, to Albert Edward, Prince of Wales, and Alexandra, Princess of Wales. On December 24, 1869, Maud was baptized, as, Maud Charlotte Mary Victoria. She was not yet two years old, when her family experienced the loss of Prince Alexander, her younger brother, who had been born prematurely on April 6, 1871, and had passed away, the following day. She gave her lone kid the name Alexander, many years later. Later, he succeeded, as Olav V, King of Norway. Her early years were mostly spent, at Sandringham House. Her father, Edward VII, offered her Appleton House on the Sandringham Estate, as a country retreat for her future travels to England, and it became an integral part of her life. It's interesting to note that throughout her life, Maud kept returning to Sandringham. Her father had given his wife, Alexandra, the burden of raising the kids. Maud and her other siblings experienced a nurturing upbringing. She was vivacious and tomboyish. She was given the name Harry in honor of a close friend of her father, King Edward VII. She had tutors for her academic work. Along with the conventional disciplines, she also received instruction in dance and riding a horse. Maud has always had a deep affection for animals, especially horses and dogs. She had complete control, as she rode about her Sandringham estate. Later, when she was Queen of Norway, she oversaw the renovation of the stables, at the Royal Palace in Oslo. Maud used to travel to Denmark annually with her mother, siblings, and grandmother when she was a young girl. Later, she would travel with her mother and sisters on cruises, to Norway and the Mediterranean. She used to play with her cousins, while she and her brothers were in Denmark, for their annual visit, which helped them, develop a close friendship. Maud was artistic, in addition to painting and piano playing, she was skilled in wood carving. She was inspired to pursue photography by her mother, and she did so for the rest of her life. The Imperial Order of the Crown of India was presented to Maud and her sisters, Victoria and Louise, by their maternal grandmother, Queen Victoria, on August 6, 1887. Maud waited till her late twenties to be married, which is relatively late. Originally, she had intended to wed Prince Francis of Teck, the younger brother of her sister-in-law Mary, a distant relative. He could have benefited from Maud's prominence, but he turned her down despite being relatively poor due to rising gambling debts. Princess Maud wed Prince Karl of Denmark on July 22, 1896, in a private chapel at Buckingham Palace. Prince Karl was the second child of Princess, Louise of Sweden and Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark, Queen Alexandra's older brother, for her many trips to England, the groom's father offered them Appleton House on the Sandringham estate, as a country home. On July 2, 1903, in Sandringham, the couple's lone child, Prince Alexander, was born there. Prior to 1905, Prince Karl and his family spent, 
the majority of their time in Denmark, where he served as an officer in the Royal Danish Navy. The Norwegian Storting decided to grant Prince Karl of Denmark the crown in June 1905, dissolving Norway's 91-year-old union with Sweden. Karl was picked in part because of Maud's ties to the British royal family. Prince Karl became King Haakon VII of Norway after a vote in November, and his baby son was given the new name Olav. On June 22, 1906, King Haakon VII and Queen Maud were crowned at Trondheim's Nidaros Cathedral, it was the final coronation to take place in Scandinavia. Maud carried out her responsibilities as queen admirably and soon adjusted to Norwegian ways and customs. Despite keeping a low presence in public, she was crucial in concerns of administration and family. She and her spouse posed in traditional Norwegian garb while engaging in the popular winter sport of skiing. She took great care in carrying out her responsibilities as queen, dressed royally, and wore jewelry and other accessories, she was a compassionate queen, who sponsored a number of good organizations. She supported the Home for Unmarried Mothers in 1906, which was unheard of at the time, and the Children's Exhibition, in 1921. She supported and encouraged musicians and artists, because she is a creative person herself, she established the Queen's Relief Committee during World War I. She was a keen horse rider and oversaw the renovation of the stables at the Royal House in Oslo. Her passion of horses is well known. Her passion for Great Britain did not fade even after she was crowned Queen of Norway, she continued to travel there annually. But she also recognized and appreciated a number of things about Norway, she spent the majority of her time in the country at Appleton House in Sandringham, where she had spent her formative years. At her nephew George V.I.'s coronation in May 1937, she made her final public appearance in the United Kingdom. Her remains were sent back to Norway by HMS Royal Oak, the home fleet flagship of the Second Battle Squadron of the Royal Navy. Before the burial, her remains was transported to a modest church in Oslo. In Oslo's Akershus Castle's royal mausoleum, Queen Maud was laid to rest. Queen Maud was the last surviving child of King Edward VII and Queen Alexandra at the time of her passing. In honor of Maud, places including Queen Maud Land and Queen Maud Mountains in Antarctica, Queen Maud Secondary School in Hong Kong, Queen Maud Gulf in Nunavut, Canada, and Queen Maud Gulf Migratory Bird Sanctuary, all bear her name. The ship Maud was christened in honor of Maud of Wales, and built to Roald Amundsen specifications, for use in the Arctic Ocean. It was constructed in 1916, with the goal of traveling through and exploring the Northeast Passage. She has also inspired the name of the Royal Norwegian Navy's replenishment ship, H. Noemes Maud. In her honor, a delectable dish called the Queen Maud, fromage was created. During her trip to England in 1938, Maud. She first resided in Sandringham, but then transferred to a hotel in London's West End. She fell ill and was transferred to a nursing facility in Marylebone, London's 18 Bentinck Street, where on November 16, 1938, an abdominal operation was done. King Haakon arrived at her bedside right away after leaving Norway. Despite surviving the procedure, Maud passed away suddenly, from heart failure on November 20, 1938, the 13th anniversary of her mother's passing, six days before her 69th birthday. In order to inform the Norwegian public about her passing, Norwegian media were permitted to flout the rule prohibiting publication on Sundays. The British royal family received Appleton House back from King Hawkins. 